Well, Alex Conklin is a sophomore here at the William Jewell College. She has been an integral part of what we've done in the uh, production of Jewell Sports through the last uh, year and a half. And you get a chance to meet her now as Carla Cole has her here behind the uh, mixing board at the Maybe Center. Hi, thanks, Rick. All right, yeah, we're going to be on the air, and, and she's going to be um, doing her job a little bit. But basically, this is Alex Conklin, and she has, is the very first director for William Jewell Broadcasts. And in the course of this process, it's been my pleasure to get to know her. She's become a really good friend of mine, and so we're happy to see you. But what is the what is it that even made you want to do this kind of production? Well, actually, I didn't get into it knowing that this is what I was going to be doing. Um, my first experience with Rick was being stuck in a scissor lift on a soccer game, um, actually running a camera. And I only did about two games, and then he pulled me into his office, and he was like, hey, have you ever done this? And I was like, uh, nope. <laughs> he was like, well, you're going to do this. And I was like, great. And it just kind of started from there. And he put a lot of trust in me, and it was a lot of responsibilities, and we've come a long way since the beginning. I remember I was working those soccer games with you, and Rick and I went home, and we said, holy cow, Alex is so smart. If you're looking for a director, she's the one. And that's why we talked about it, why he chose you, because you were smart, you were getting it, you understood the pictures. But you have your own photography company, right? Correct. Um, I do Conklin um, Photography, which was started actually as a senior project in high school, and I've done about 18 weddings since then, and a lot of senior pictures and engagements and different things like that. But it's just on the side, mostly in the summer type stuff. And so she certainly has an eye for being behind the camera, but she has she's really smart. And this process, the development of this program, Rick has worked really hard to um, upgrade, make changes throughout the past year and a half. And so there are a lot of things that we've added and that you've had to figure out. First of all, we started with a very simple mixer. Now this process is quite complicated as we add replays and as we, and she's working, she's not ignoring me, but as we add replays and as we add all kinds of, um, we change the mixing board. We now have graphics in the shot. Um, we do all kinds of different things and you've had to learn all those as we go and right and help right. design them in some ways. Some ways, yes, but Rick and a lot of the other students work more with that. I kind of just direct and put it all together at the end. Okay. One thing, though, that you need to watch is if you ever have noticed her directing, whenever there is a timeout or uh, during um, commercials, you can see her over here singing and dancing. So I don't think she's been too tortured in the process. But we do have really bad news, and that is that she has come to a point in her college teaching this is her excuse anyway we need to find out for sure really why are you leaving this um, I'm leaving because this is just a giant responsibility and I love it so much but next semester I start my clinicals and I'm full-fledged into the nursing program and I love this job but it's time that I spend a little bit more time with my um, classes and the homework that I need to get done Okay, and yes, she is definitely here at Jewel in the nursing program, one of the best programs that they have here. Um, also, you sometimes struggle with some health issues that you have to continually battle, so I'm sure that doesn't help when we want you here with us all the time. <laughs> yeah, um, I have quite a bit of um, GI issues, but I try not to let that interfere with my work and with my school. Okay, good. Um, there are a lot of things about you that... I have grown to love. I think of you as one of my really good friends. We send messages. I know that's very weird because I'm not like a college student, but we send messages in the course of the week and talk to each other fairly often. And whenever Rick messes up and I'm not here, Alex lets me know so that we can keep track. But one of the things I love her is how much she loves life and what she brings to the people around her. Um, and so... One of the things that you are interested in, and you and I have talked about a lot, is ghosts. We, you've had a ghost in your dorm room. I have, but uh, I try to just leave them, leave them be and kind of go upon my own life. But, yep, we did have our ghost in our... that we're not just making that up we had he liked to play in their candles and in her candle in her room and so we had some evidence there that we talked about fairly often um, one of the things also about you that I really like is how much you love life you take care of the people around you including your brother that you help a lot um, you take care of your parents in many ways and <laughs> and you take care of Rick and so that's one of the gifts that you bring to the people around you is that you're always ready to 
help others and to um, make people better than they are. And so I would ask you if you were going to give a life message to people as your last chance here on the broadcast, what would your life message be to people? My life message would probably just take it one day at a time, that there's always something that could go wrong, but you are always strong enough to handle it. And there are people out there that have it much you know, worse than you do, and it's really not that bad. And the sun will rise in the morning, I promise. That's exactly how she lives her life. And I want to tell you that when Rick told me that you weren't going to be here anymore, it was a really sad day because I love the time we spend together. If you have a chance to get to know Alex, you should do that. It's going to be sad, and we're going to try to replace her with Heather, but we're not sure we can replace Alex. So um, we want to thank you for being part of this program, helping it grow and develop and making this a better program than it would have been. It's people like you who make successes out of great ideas. And so we want to thank you, and we're going to miss you more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much. I'm going to miss you guys, too.